Today to celebrate Cinco de Mayo, we are gonna make a cheese quesadilla with a homemade flour tortilla, and Summer is gonna help me do it, aren't you? Or you're either gonna help or you're gonna hinder me. I'm not sure what you're gonna do. Um, I've discovered that homemade flour tortillas are easy to make. They have very simple ingredients, and it just takes a little bit of a knack. You just, uh, you need to, you know, work a little bit, not too much. It's actually pretty easy. Um, I'll show you and Summer will help me show you. Okay, now the ingredients you are going to need is a third cup of flour, which we've got here, and two tablespoons of water and two tablespoons of oil, plus just a dash of salt. It's that easy. Okay, so there's, there's the flour, a dash of salt. Just a little bit. This is only gonna make one tortilla, and that's all we need. Since when they're made fresh, you have to use them right away. And two tablespoons of water. We are using these really cool, these really super cool cat measuring spoons. And I already tested them out, and they are accurate. I found them at a local hardware store. If I can find them online, I will give you a link in the uh, video. Okay, so there's two tablespoons. Hey, 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 come on. You're getting in the way here, come on. I know, I know the oil The oil I'm using is just a generic, uh, it's grapeseed oil, um, and uh, I wanted something that's just, that didn't have any personality to it on its own, so that uh, it didn't add any, particular flavor. Hey, what are you doing? I didn't say you could do that. Or that was a bad thing to do. I can't believe you did that. Anyway, the easy thing about this is you just mix it all up with your hands and like so. And you don't, yeah, you don't even need any, any sort of mixing tools or anything. You will need a rolling pin later and a flat surface because you will roll out the tortilla. And it took me a while to get the uh, ingredients right on the, uh, you know, the, the proportions on the ingredients right, right on this recipe because it's actually reduced from an already reduced small batch flour tortilla recipe. But you need to have the flour mixture moist, but not, not too wet, but just wet enough. And the important thing that you need to remember is you have to knead the flour and knead it and knead it and knead it and knead it. And uh, the great thing about having a one person flour tortilla is that it doesn't take that much kneading. If you were making a big batch, then you would be here for a really long time and you would probably bore your cat. Actually, what I use as a gauge a lot of times is I'll like just play one or two of my favorite uh, songs on, uh, on Spotify or, or my music library or whatever I happen to feel like listening to, um, to keep my mind occupied while I'm kneading and also to give me a gauge on the time I'm kneading because it needs to be for something like five minutes. So anyway, um, the next thing we are gonna do, we're gonna roll it up in a little ball like so and uh, Put in the bowl and we are going to cover it with a damp paper towel and let it rest for about 10 minutes. There you have it. Okay, so we're back. And uh, Summer, what are you doing? Summer, come on. Come on. You're supposed to watch me here. We're done resting the dough and so we're going to roll it out into like about a 10 inch, um, 10 inch round. Let me just flatten it out a little bit, get ready to uh, get my hands floured, get my, uh, I already floured the board to get it ready so you didn't have to watch me do that. And uh, let's see. See, it's like really nice and pliable. It's just, it feels really good. It's not all like uh, chunky or PC or like it doesn't seem like it's gonna like crack or fall apart, which is what happens when you don't need it enough. And uh, 
Summer, I can't believe you're being so good right now. You're hanging out, you're watching me, and you're not even like causing any trouble. You're just being here. What a good girl. What a good girl. Okay, and so everything's flowered, and let's start rolling this sucker out. Okay, here we go. Yeah, see, this is this is the consistency it needs to be. It's really, really turned out very nice. Or we'll see. We'll see how nice it turns out once I start cooking it. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to heat up a pan over high heat and slightly oiled, just very slightly oiled. And uh, people. It's really best to use a cast iron pan. Um, I've got a really super old one right now. My regular cast iron pan is a little bit out of commission right now. So um, I kind of messed it up. Um, but yeah, so we are going to use my old ancient pan that I got from probably my grandmother. And uh, yeah, Summer is actually not going to be around for this anyway. So she left because the part where you heat it up is not safe for kitties. So I'll just show that to you without the cat. So you'll, you'll get to see the result with the cat though. Okay, I promise. Okay, so here we are with our heated uh, heated iron skillet. Uh, this skillet actually may have belonged to my grandmother. It's that old. It, it may be from like the 50s or I don't know, maybe even earlier. Anyway, just put a little bit of oil in here. Not very much. Just just a few drops. What I do is I spread it around like so. Like I said, I just need a little bit. And I wish I actually had a bigger skillet because, uh, or a griddle. A griddle is actually ideal for cooking tortillas, um, but I don't have that, so you just have to make do. And uh, I think it's good to show when you don't have all the proper things because not everybody has the proper um, equipment. And uh, Sometimes you have to make do, and it's perfectly okay to make do. And sometimes, as long as you have the cat with you, you're cool. Okay, so here we go. We put the, um, we put the uh, tortilla in over the high heat, and just let it sit there until it starts to bubble. And once the top starts bubbling, then you know to flip it over. And so this is it in the, uh, in the pan. And we'll be back when it's bubbling, so I will show you when you flip it over. Okay, so now we're back and you can see the bubbles are starting to form here, which means it's almost ready to turn over. So let me get back to this. Okay, anyway, let's flip it over. And I wish that there was a way to impart the smell of a fresh cooking flour tortilla because it is really awesome. Here we go means you have to wear the official Cinco de Mayo Mexican hat. Okay, there you go. So there you go. Yep. Now let's go over the other ear. The other ear. There we go. There we go. And here we are with the tortilla, with the awesome tortilla here. Summer. Summer. Okay, there we go. Tortilla time. It's tortilla time. I'm gonna make a quesadilla with this. So um, just gonna put in a little cheese and just uh, put it back in the pan. And then that's gonna be my lunch. And uh, somebody's gonna get some treats because uh, yeah, she's not a... Oh, no, 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 no. That's not your treat. This is your treat here. Okay, so let's, uh, let's give her a treat. Let me get the um, cheese out and we'll get done. It's not much to a quesadilla. I mean, I, I'm just throwing in some cheese. You can throw in other things like some, you know, some onions and chilies and all that sort of stuff. And I'm just going very basic here and uh, using just shredded cheese. And uh, that's it. And uh, summer, here, have some shredded cheese. Here. She gets a treat and uh, fold it over and uh, yeah there we go your head's on crooked here here we go good girl good girl okay the cheese is melting so it's time to flip it over Oops. and 
here is the finished product. It's just uh, just your basic cheese tortilla, and uh, so you can tell Summer is really super excited about it. There, good girl, good girl. You were such a good helper. Yes, you were. You were such a good helper. And that's it. I'm gonna go out lunch now.